Oh yeah, dude. This is gonna fly. <laughs> So a while ago we got a 3D printed motor, it's been sitting around the shop for a while and now we need to make it into something awesome. So we wanted to put it on a really lightweight frame, so we wanted to design an ultralight. We wanted to base it off of an ultralight called the Quicksilver. So we wanted to use carbon fiber tubes and to keep the whole 3D printed theme we wanted to make 3D printed mounts. So what I've designed is a 3D sandwich plate for each joint with the carbon fiber tube in the middle and then you'll screw them together. So each part in this frame is actually a different angle. So each mount was designed individually to make a strong but really lightweight frame. So we're gonna wanna get this thing printed out pretty quick. So I'm gonna actually use the Lawsbot Moore's extruder that'll uh, be able to make it really strong and really quick. And when this is finished out, I'm gonna throw it over to Andrus and he's gonna make the wings. So Josh drew up some wings for this ultralight in uh, CAD, and they're pretty simple wings. It's just basically like our uh, fold-over wings that, that we use in our other designs. And we also have foam board box bars that we're going to use. We're going to make sure that the seams of the box bars don't line up with the seams of the uh, of the wing. We're going to add some pretty big ailerons on these wings, and I think I'm also going to program some flaps in there so they'll be flapperons. When we do flapperons, we can actually droop both ailerons down a bit and get a little bit of extra lift while we're still going at a slow airspeed. So the battery we're gonna use for this is a 6-cell 26,000, I believe. Uh, we're gonna see if it can get up in the air with that amount of power, but if we can't, then we're gonna step it up to a 12-cell 12,000. So we're gonna get these wings together and we're gonna take it out and see what happens. Christoph sent us this motor about a year ago, almost, exactly. almost in June 2017. No, it's not about and a year ago. It's, it, it's, it's exactly a year, a year from <laughs> almost today. So Christoph, thanks so much. If you haven't, we'll, we'll put the link down below of that video as well. You can check that out. But we finally get to use the 3D printed motor on something way more epic than we possibly could have thought of. Dude, I think you should fly. Let's do paper, rock, scissors to make it fair. Paper, rock, scissors? Yes. All right. Is it paper, rock, paper, rock, scissors? Who calls a paper, rock, scissors? <laughs> That's the first time I've heard paper, rock, scissors. What is it, rock, paper, scissors? <laughs> <laughs> scissor, paper, rock. Let's go. Scissor, oh, scissor, what? rock, what? papers. <laughs> <You're gonna> <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, One, two, three. Oh, it's your turn. I guess this will be, you oh gosh. It. You know, that's really good because uh, I don't want to have to do it. Here we go. You got this, bud. Roll it. Roll it. That's full throttle. <laughs> I don't think it's yeah. off the ground. That's, that's, that's going to need some more power. <laughs> All right. Need some more punch. I think the, the biggest concern is not so much can the motor handle the current, it's can the motor handle the, the forces on the plastic, right? Right, right. So as it's spinning around wider and uh, faster and faster, the housing is going to want to blow up. And we don't want the housing to blow up. No, no blowing up housing. And we anticipated, you know, it wasn't going to be the most powerful motor, so we thought if we built the lightest structure possible, and that's why we went to the ultralight and the carbon fiber. Super ultralight. By the way, Christoph, if we damage your motor, thank you for sending it to us. Don't give up on us. It's an awesome motor. Also, if you guys haven't yet, make sure you check out Christoph's channel. He's doing some really, really cool stuff. So we'll put a link down below. Make sure you check him out. Give him a subscribe. Tell him you came from Flight Test. All right, ready? Good luck, man. It won! It won! Oh! Yes! Yes! Oh, oh yes! my god! Yes! 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 How's the power? Not good. Okay. <laughs> Watch out for the car. Here comes oh, a really good. Oh, yeah, you're just over the path right dude, you're now. Dude, we're doing it! It flies! Oh, oh, look at that! <laughs> that looks, dude, that yes! Crazy. It's awesome! Yes! Dude, look oh at that thing in the air. You did oh that, my guys. God. That's awesome. Oh my God. That dude, see so that thing? Thing? Yeah, dude. Oh Chris, my God. Hey, Christoph, it handles 12 cells. <laughs> Christoph, 12 is the magic number. I'll take it at high. Oh my goodness. That, that, All it, right. third person did so that. That looks amazing. I think we need to work on thrust angle just a little because I'm holding full up. But you know, I don't care. <laughs> it don't matter, dude. All right. Bring it in low. You gonna bring her in? You want me to bring it in low? I know the wings are strong enough. Yeah, let's bring it in low. You want a low pass? Who wants a low pass? Look how I cool do. that looks. Dude. So rudder is definitely a good thing on this. Okay. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, nice. Dude, look at that thing. It's slow look too. It. Dude, I'm gliding. That's glide time? Dude. 
<laughs> yes, dude! Yes! 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 Is the motor hot at all? No, it's cold, totally cold. <laughs> Feel it. Dude, no way. I honestly think without those flaps in the front, if you didn't hook flap rounds up, it wouldn't have gotten off the ground. Really? Yeah. So it, flap rounds are a good thing. Flap rounds okay. are definitely a good thing. All right, Stall good luck. All right, take Ready? two. Here we go. Take two. Nice! <laughs> <laughs> How's it feel? Dude, dude, flaps dude, are for real. This, is, this is great, dude. Oh my god. It gosh. looks great. This, this, this is, this is, dude, it feels weird for a second as it's like, okay, oh, it's stable. It really does dude, feel weird. Dude, dude. Look at oh how beautiful gosh. that looks. Oh my gosh. Uh, the back oh, yes, bro. Well, you know what? We can say it now. We have the STL files, the oh, details about wow. everything on here. We can share it with you guys because maybe you don't want to fly off a 3D printed motor. Well, we got maybe a hundred bucks in materials besides the yeah. motor and battery in it. It's an easy plane to build, isn't it? Dude, yeah, it, especially the way Chad designed the parts, just like put it all together, it's almost like Legos or something, you know? Oh yeah, that glides, so, that glides real nice. So thrust angle. Yep, thrust angle. You should make Dude, take it up so and do a spin excited. with it. No. <laughs> uh, I lost power. Okay. There's, oh, you lost power? Yeah, no power. Really? Dead stick. That's uh, dead stick landing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't even know what happened, dude. Maybe the dude dead stick dead landing dead. with no power <laughs> just glides in. If we, didn't, we wouldn't, if you didn't say it, we would never have known. <laughs> We'd never know. I didn't want to tell you this, but when we were over there, they said that they heard a certain pop and sizzle. But it ran up again, and I thought, you know, we're good. Did, did, did it really? Yeah. So, <laughs> oh my so, god! So, you never know what's gonna happen. We didn't want to talk about that because I don't want to be negative. You know, you know, you know. But I, you crushed it. Dude. I, the landing thanks, was fantastic, man. Thanks, dude. Man. It was it was a little a little bouncy, a little hard on the landing, yeah. but Christoph, God bless you, man. I know it took a year. I hope it was worth the wait. You were an amazing engineer, amazing designer, and thank you for sharing that motor with us. Yeah, and uh, sure. and sorry about the wait for that, guys. Thanks for being part of the family. We'll see you next time.